blades. Oh no, it's the vise. And I have it upside down. Definitely got some, some cool looking stuff coming soon. With our light for work. All right, I'm gonna have to actually unpackage it a little bit. And apron from them as well. So we won't get all wet, but yeah, you're gonna get wet. Huh? We'll see once it's all unboxed. Hi guys. My fellow miners, we're out here. We just got our cab king set up in position where we're gonna have it. Get this unwrapped. your hand a little more comfortably if you like that sort of thing. Splash guards. You got your stone trays which will sit up here on top. Water pump which I'll have in a five gallon bucket here on the side and then I'll be able to attach the water so that I can adjust my controls. Our diamond paste to use in conjunction with our felt pad. We have our diamond flat lap, which I believe is somewhere around like 360 or something like that. Here we have our AD grit grinding wheel, which I personally am not going to add on to the wheel right at this point because I don't need something that coarse to grind stuff down. That's what I have my trim saw here for so that I could obviously cut off excess material and save a little work on that extra machine. Here we have our 220 grit, which is going to be my starting for this one. 220, 280. And then um, instead of finishing off with a 3000, or I believe that's a 3000, but 
Um, I'm going to finish off with the 8,000, yeah. So it'll go 3,000 and then 8,000. So this is all gonna shift down one. And uh, that will be our starting wheel. This 220 grit diamond wheel. side panels to go here on the sides of the machine so of course you don't get water splashing out the sides so and we also have all of our trim saw packaging so I went ahead and got it with the vise so that we can uh, have nice steady thin cuts it comes with two blades So it comes with a thin centered, which is the red blade, which I believe this one is for cutting your harder stones like agates. And then you have your centered saw blade, yep, which is for your real fine cuts. This is to, if you could focus on how thin the blade is. So that blade right there will cut, you know, your softer stones like opal. Uh, of course, your instruction manual. But let me get the rest of this stuff unpacked, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all set up.